AP police has a very proud legacy, whether it's combating terrorism uh, historically, uh, we have several institutions like Greyhound, SIB, CICL, Octopus, which has been always been a front runner. It had a world-class training facilities in a, like our police academy. Uh, it was one of the states which is most advanced in forensics it, until about a decade ago. Uh, several reforms and standardizations uh, in the policing uh, were visible in our state. We were also amongst the first in dealing with cybercrime, white collar offenses, uh, at the same time various security systems and even com police communications, AP states was known. As well as innovations and technology adoption, we were among the forefront. Andhra Pradesh police was a role model for all others uh, to adopt, emulate and replicate. And with that, that's the kind of legacy that we carry with us and we are very proud of that, sir. The profile of AP police as we stand poised on the ground, uh, the strength 73,366. We have 12,368 home guards, 989 police station, 195 circles, 90 subdivisions, police districts 16, two commissionerates, and five rangers, and we have eight special armed police battalions. Now, as regards the duties and responsibility of the police, there are a lot of expectations, uh, and these are the few duties and responsibilities amongst the many that we have uh, listed out. Protect life, liberty, pr property of human rights and dignity, prevent and detain crimes, enforce and uphold rule of law, promote and preserve public order, protect internal security, intervene during disaster and distress, manage traffic on the roads and highways, amongst many. Now, we are all aware that uh, the primary responsibility of the police, other than individual to the individuals, uh, is maintaining law and order in the society. And we are also aware that uh, law and order, peace and stability is absolutely essential for progress and development in any society. So therefore, uh, we look at those concerns in the state of Andhra Pradesh that exists before us, which we police of Andhra Pradesh need to tackle and deal with to provide a stable atmosphere for the state to progress and develop. And they have listed out left-wing extremism, caste and communal conflicts, social vices and organized crime, development and related displacements, security of VIPs and installation, facts, factions and political unrest. All of them have potential to disrupt and cause disturbances. If you look at the left-wing extremism, uh, we have uh, the, the sway over five districts, uh, traditionally on the Andhra-Orissa border, and also with the recent areas of Chintur uh, subdivision coming in, uh, bordering Chhattisgarh. Now, apart from these five conventional interior areas, we also have issues about frontal and mass organization, which exists in the urban centers, uh, in mostly all over the state, starting from Tirupati, whether it's Guntur, Nellore, uh, Karnul, uh, Vijayawada, uh, or Eluru, Rajamandri, Vishakapatnam, Srikakulam, all over the state, uh, we, we see the activities of frontal and mass organization. Uh, we, we are aware that left-wing extremists generally look for issues to engage, issues to mobilize, organize, and uh, the masses and veer them towards agitational politics. And the issues are very many. Some of them have been listed out. Some of the issues have been listed out, but they are not all uh, encompassing because issues keep emerging and they'll keep looking for opportunities to engage and involve in issues uh, and around which they would like to uh, create awareness, uh, generate uh, interest of the masses, mobilize them, organize them, and then lead them, veer them towards agitational politics and thereby create disturbances in the society. Uh, there are methodologies, 
the actions we have listed out, eliminate political and other targets, attack security forces, obstruct developmental activities. Um, they also deploy action teams for very pointed actions. Now all these activities, the whole, the, the objective is to usher in new democratic revolution and seize state power. So this is always a lurking danger that we always have. And we, all, we are also aware the capacity uh, which the left-wing extremists, particularly the Maoists, have in creating terror in the state. So therefore, it always needs police to be in our toes and be alert and constantly be one step ahead of them. And sir, Andhra Pradesh police, we have a, again a legacy of uh, being on the forefront in dealing with this left-wing extremism. Uh, on the other hand, if you see, look at the Maoist violence, there has been a decreasing trend, uh, some uh, sporadic incidents here and there, uh, whenever they need to really uh, show their existence or inflict some kind of a uh, damage to the state, they keep on indulging. Other than that, other law and order and security concerns, we have the caste and communal conflicts. In the recent years, we see that there's more and more polarization along caste and communal sectarian issues, uh, which would also create uh, disturbances uh, every now and then, uh, depending upon situation, circumstances, uh, and the issues. We also have seen rising fundamentalism, uh, both in national and international, which is also an area where Police needs to be always alert, and we have our uh, uh, intelligence as well as uh, using technology. Uh, we are also coordinating across the country and beyond uh, in, on this realm. Social vices and organized crime is also another area. Uh, so betting and gambling, trafficking, bootlegging, narcotics and drugs, adulteration, which also causes disturbance in the society. Uh, we also have many issues uh, associated with development. Uh, whenever any development programs are undertaken, industries are take, uh, uh, being put in place or being uh, intended, uh, we see a lot of agitation and disturbances. Uh, the issues surrounding uh, Polavram, SEZ, uh, Vamsadara, Bogapuram International Airport, uh, nuclear power plant at Kovada, these are few of them. Uh, there are many uh, other than this. Similarly, uh, security of VIPs and installations is also an area uh, which uh, needs our attention. Sir. Apart from which, uh, we also have this traditional problem surrounding faction and political unrest, uh, particularly post-elections. We still have some simmering issues emerging, but we anticipate that it's not an organized but a very localized so therefore, uh, very soon we would be able to contain them, sir. But as long as it exists, it's, it will cause disturbances uh, in, the, in the society. Uh, with the post-election uh, and upcoming local body elections also, we uh, need, there's a need for us to be uh, quite uh, prompt on that, on our toes. Now, coming to crime, sir, if you see, this is a broad outlook in terms of the nature of crime, what is reported in Andhra Pradesh, uh, we have about 880 murder cases annually. Uh, we also listed crime against women, and that's also a priority area, a matter of concern for us, um, as well as road accidents. Um, last year, as many as 7,400 people died, lost their lives in the roads. And last year has been uh, the minimum because year before last, last two years, it had crossed 8,000, 8, about 8,500 and 8,100 odd was the figures. So there is a huge loss of human life, precious lives. So there is a need for us to look at that area as well. Now looking at uh, crime patterns and trends in the state, uh, we see once again uh, bodily offenses, crimes against women, uh, white collar crimes and fat road accidents to be one of the major uh, heads of crime that uh, engages us. Property, as regard the property offenses, there is a decreasing, decreasing trend visible, sir. If you, if you compare to up to the up to May, and one of the reasons is uh, uh, is basically police being very brisk 
and present on the ground uh, in the wake of the elections that we had. As regards property offences, uh, the top five units uh, where the property offences are maximum are listed. Uh, Vijayawada City, West Godavari, Guntur, Urban, Nellore and East Godavari. Similarly, the bodily offences, uh, overall there has been uh, a decrease, but if you look at uh, up to May, uh, we see that uh, rioting and uh, hurt cases have been increased. That is again primarily related to the election campaign and post-election time. And as regards bodily offences, uh, the first top five units, uh, as usual, Guntur Rural uh, has seen the maximum number of instances of bodily offences, uh, which is also a matter of concern. If, it, if the pattern becomes a little huge, uh, there's a matter of concern needing interventions and special measures for that. Uh, white collar offences, there is an increasing trend in the white collar offences. Uh, if you see, uh, mostly uh, cheating and uh, criminal breach of trust, uh, and as well as uh, uh, what is that? A new the new areas, new domains, uh, which is cyber crime, which will come to that later. And if amongst the white collar offences, we see the um, maximum in West Godavari, Vishakhams, Patnam City, Vijayawada. And <clears throat> this may also have its own peculiar characteristic in a very localized manner. Crime against women, uh, there has been a decreasing trend overall, but uh, it's an area of a concern and a very continuous engagement from our side. There will be special measures from our side uh, addressing uh, primarily crime against women and children. And this is one area where always no amount of work is enough because not all crime gets reported because of uh, the reasons uh, that is exists in our tra tra traditional and conservative societies. Uh, if you look at the crime against women, once again, uh, Guntur, Krishna, Karnul, Vishakhapastam city and West Godavari has registered the maximum number of cases. And crime against women, as I said, also relates to uh, the ease of reporting and in some state districts we see that uh, they come forth and uh, complain. Cases against uh, uh, the weaker sections, uh, particularly SCST uh, offenses, uh, overall there has been a, there has been a decrease, uh, but then again that's an area of uh, concern. Uh, so therefore we'll be also very constantly monitoring and watching that. And up to May uh, this year, if you see the comparative statement of crime, uh, there has been a decrease, but we see that uh, uh, hurt cases, again, once again, related to election period. Crime against uh, the weaker section, SESTs, once again, amongst the top five units, you find Guntur Karnul uh, registering the maximum number of cases, followed by Prakasham, West Godavari, and Kadapas. Road accident, as I said, sir, uh, is an area of much concern. Uh, during last year, uh, AP Police was amongst the top two states where we have been able to intervene and see that the trend is bucked and then uh, the increase has been contained uh, as in the past it was. So if you see today with regards to the roads, road safety per lakh population, uh, Andhra Pradesh stands 10th, in 10th position if you uh, relate it to deaths per lakh for population. As I mentioned, 2018, it was the second best performing state. And road safety is a domain, is an area which needs uh, multiple stakeholder intervention, uh, uh, starting from education, engineering, enforcement, uh, environment and emergency care uh, needs as well, post uh, accident needs, uh, also integration of all emergency response and stakeholders to reduce the death. Uh, the golden hour concept is very critical uh, during road accident uh, strategies that uh, we put in place. There is also a need to evolve, uh, evolve a state policy and a strategy to deal with this, uh, with the right kind of 
casualties that is being visible on the ground on a daily basis. Hi, it's me Nadita Shweta. Please subscribe to Mirror TV. Please subscribe to Mirror TV. Please subscribe to Mirror TV. Please subscribe Mirror Channel.